Okay, so we're looking at the work done on this box, lifting it up. So um, we know work is the force times the distance and the force and distance being parallel to each other. So the box itself is the work is being done on the box. Um, it's being lifted and that force has to be greater than the gravitational force. So you're basically overcoming the weight and lifting that up. And so the lift that we're looking at is that force there. So that's what's doing the work. And we would be moving up for a certain distance. So the lifting force and the distance that it traveled due to this force are both in the same direction. So not only parallel, which indicates that, yes, in fact, work is being done, but if they're in the same direction, it means that there is positive work. Well, the work is contributing to an increase in energy here. So the force, um, we could say, is mg. In other words, it's overcoming the force of gravity. And so the mg would be 50 kilograms, 9.8 meters per second squared, and 1.5 meters. And so we multiply all those out, we end up with 735 joules. All right, and uh, again, it's a positive because the distance and the lifting force are both in the same direction. And with it being a positive like that, that means that there's some additional energy. It's being converted into that energy increase. And so what form of energy do we see here? Well, as it gets lifted up, it's gravitational potential energy. So we can just list that. So we've established that there is work being done. We've established that the work is 735 joules and it is a positive. And we also know that that increase in energy is in the form of potential energy.